Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I am back at Disneyland to talk about my wish list for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. What I'd love to see here in the future. So, how about you and I? Dive right in. Oh yeah, we're gonna enter Galaxy's Edge through the Frontierland entrance. And on this holiday weekend, it is a gorgeous day today. That is for sure. There are a lot of people here in the park. And as I say in just about every single video, brace for the crowds, especially during the holiday weekends. It is gonna be crowded. The lines will be long. And always remember to uh, have some patience with the cast members. They're doing all they can. Huge shout out to the cast members. So yeah, there's a lot of people in here today, but let's head into Galaxy's Edge because I wanted to talk about, yeah, my wish list. We're approaching three years since the opening of Galaxy's Edge here at Disneyland, and it begs the question, what's gonna be next? One of the three beautiful transitions into the land. This one's the shortest transition, but nonetheless, it's still great. Honestly, one of my favorite Disneylands that has ever been created, honestly. There has been so much time and effort put into the look and feel of this land. And some people online have their opinions and so do I, but I, I think everyone can agree that this space is something to marvel at. It's, it's pure art. Yeah, see, even Chewie is excited for the future of Galaxy's Edge. It is the largest undertaking from the company to date. I'm sure there'll be something bigger eventually. Or, like I said, they could be expanding this sometime in the future, and that is what I would like to see very, very soon, because it's just so good that you want more. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure the stormtroopers wouldn't mind extra space to roam around and patrol. This land is also one of the most expensive ever created, too. They spent so much money on making sure this was as perfect as possible for a theme park space. But with its sheer size and ambition, there was still room for more. And unfortunately, we only got two attractions in this current version. Oh, spaceship flying over. And there was definitely room for more. There was talk of one more attraction, a, a smaller transport attraction, at least in the rumor mill. And that never came to flourishing. We just got uh, the Rise of Resistance attraction and the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. There were even rumors of expanding behind Oga's Cantina, or new restaurant, and that's what we're gonna start first. First thing on my wish list is maybe a sit-down restaurant with some great entertainment. I love Oga's Cantina. Everything about it, I do like how it's small and intimate. And when you walk inside, the theming just slaps you in the face. I mean, it's it's just on top of you uh, how much they've just decked that place out. The music's really cool. And it has this total underground club vibe to it. And I want them to expand on that idea with the restaurant that was uh, proposed for behind the space. And that space is usually used for extended queue for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. I think we've all kind of walked through that space. That's apparently where the restaurant is supposed to go. And that's where I'd love to see a new restaurant. And how cool would it be to have that kind of intimate entertainment that we have been seeing on the Star Wars Galactic uh, Star Cruiser and have it in a restaurant here at Galaxy's Edge. The land desperately needs more entertainment. And I think in addition to Oga's, maybe have a really cool back door entrance to the restaurant through Oga's, then that would just elevate this particular space over here. Yeah, this is where the backstage entrance is, and it's just kind of all that empty uh, uh, space back there. And how cool would it be to have just like a secret door, maybe somewhere over here to enter the restaurant and make it this exclusive thing? Obviously, uh, you know, table service restaurants are uh, pretty popular here at Disneyland, and I think they added one here right behind Oga's Cantina. It would probably be one of the most popular table service restaurants in the park. And what would be really cool is if throughout the day you got a different experience. So say you booked a breakfast uh, reservation, you get a different show than when the dinner uh, reservation would be. So that would be kind of neat to have an, an alternative entertainment offering inside the restaurant. And I hope that maybe that's something in the pipeline that they're thinking of. And now since we're over by the Millennium Falcon, which by the way, isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? I 
wish there was more of those. There's another thing on my wish list, more of the giant petrified trees, because that's what these are. I would like to see more of that behind this particular section because I would like to see another attraction behind a Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. There's definitely room for it. They've been consolidating a lot here at the Disneyland Resort. They build new attractions. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a perfect example of that. The show building for Mickey and Minnie's doesn't just hold the attraction in the queue. It actually holds a lot of the backstage facility and offices that Disney had to take down in order to build Mickey and Minnie's. Now the same thing is behind Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run. There's a lot of warehouse buildings and some infrastructure kind of stuff that they can move elsewhere on the property, maybe even off property, to make more room for Galaxy's Edge. And I would like to see maybe a new roller coaster attraction back here because I think Galaxy's Edge could use an indoor roller coaster and they could even do maybe an outdoor attraction similar to Hagrid's at Universal Orlando. There's been rumors of a speeder bike coaster coming here and how cool would that be to have a speeder bike you know, ride right behind Millennium Falcon. There'll be three attractions here at Galaxy's Edge. There were rumors of Disney purchasing three versions of the Tron coaster from Vacoma, who's the manufacturer of that particular ride. And maybe, just maybe, they could fit one right behind Millennium Falcon here. Because the restaurant idea would only take up a small portion of it. But if that roller coaster is a thing, I would love to see it back here and have more of these petrified trees as like your walking space. You can walk in and out of these big massive like cave systems. It'd be so cool. And that would be a beautiful transition into the coaster. Now, since we were talking about the restaurant, my next wish list item is gonna be right behind me in the marketplace. Now, this particular space is by far my favorite section of Galaxy's Edge, just because of the aesthetic here. I love the ceiling that they've created right here with all the lanterns and obviously these big sheets of metal that just kind of hang over the edge there. It seems like every time I step foot in the marketplace, there's something new that I'm discovering or seeing for the first time. There's just so much crammed into this little tiny spot. But one thing I would love to see here is a speakeasy. How darn cool would it be to have a secret speakeasy? Well, not so secret because people would find out, but a speakeasy here in the marketplace. That would totally take this beautiful space again to the next level. And one cool spot I always thought would be nice to see it in would be Jewels of Bith. Now obviously that's not feasible because the building doesn't go out far enough. If you look over this way, yeah this is pretty much all they have to work with so it wouldn't really make too much sense to put a speakeasy on this particular side because there's really uh, nowhere to go. But on this side there is far more space to put something. Now they would have to really reconfigure one of these shops, maybe eliminate one of them in favor for the speakeasy, but I think dollar per square footage value would definitely increase a lot higher if they had a speakeasy over here versus maybe say one of these shops. Side note, I wonder if these two little doohickeys are considered hidden mickeys, but the reason why I point out Jewels of Bith as a cool like place to have it is this particular section right here. There's this little cutout with a door. It's the corner of the shop. How neat would it be to have a similar setup where you have a shop like this, unsuspecting, but little do you know, behind that door is a grand space, the bar, maybe the size of Oga's Cantina or smaller with some live center stage entertainment. Again, piggybacking off of the idea of Oga's Cantina. Obviously this would be a smaller scale over here just because of the limited space. But I mean, that I think would be even more popular than Oga's Cantina, this is Star Wars speakeasy. How neat, you can have specialty cocktails there. Once again, live entertainment, maybe some special surprises that happen. Maybe you can meet some of the characters at the speakeasy as well. One can dream. Yeah, I think out of my entire wish list, the speakeasy is definitely up there. Another thing I wish for, hopefully in the future, is more practical atmospheric effects on Rise of the Resistance right behind me. I would love if the attraction had some fog effects in it. That would be so cool. Maybe some sparks flying off of the sides of the walls, something to kind of just elevate the attraction even more. The ride is absolutely amazing as it is. And you know what, honestly, if they never added atmospheric effects to the attraction, I would still be happy because I think it's one of the greatest modern day dark rides ever built until yeah, obviously the next best thing comes along. But how cool would it be, especially when you enter the AT-AT room, if a bunch of fog was everywhere, sparks flying down. I'm sure they thought about it, 
but maybe in the future they can revisit it because that would be just it'd be incredible to it would make the ride even more practical and more real moving on to my next wish list item i'm hanging out here in the resistance forest area the transition between the outpost and the marketplace again they would have to do some serious reconfiguring but it's okay disney can do anything a really nice walkthrough attraction very similar to what we were going to be seeing at epcot for moana journey of water do you imagine walking through the forest here it's very dense trees are getting thicker and thicker and you start seeing more of the natural beauty of Batu. I feel like Disney's trying so hard to make Batu a place in pretty much everything that they make as far as the movies and TV shows and even the comic books. I would like to explore more of what Batu is all about. What are the natural beauties of this planet? They have this massive wall here and a long time ago people said this was the old infrastructure for that rumored third transport ride on top of a bantha or whatever but I don't know how much of that is true or versus it's just this a retaining wall for the berm and the river on the other side of the rock work here but they could take this down and reconfigure it to make it like a cave structure like I was talking about over towards Millennium Falcon and that'd be something neat to walk through have a lot of interactive elements in there as well and maybe borrow some of the same inspiration from Moana Journey of Water and bring it over here as far as some of the water features are concerned because Batu, as of right now doesn't have a water feature besides the waterfall at the Rise of the Resistance Q space. I would like to see more uh, more of that because clearly this is a lush planet and uh, you know where is all this water coming from? Now we do know from the storytelling that this particular town, Black Spire Outpost, was home to unfortunately some war. If you look really closely on some of the buildings you can see some of the battle scars of years past. You know along that walk through attraction like some leftover rubble you know, from maybe a previous building here in town, or maybe a ship that had crashed and it got hit in midair and it just never got removed. It's always been sitting there. I would like to see that, that would be neat. Making full circle back towards the Millennium Falcon. Another thing on my wish list, I would like to see some more beverages, specialty beverages available here at Galaxy's Edge. Now back at Walt Disney World, they have alcoholic versions of the blue and green milk. I'd like to see that here, but I would like to see even more ambitious creations at Docking Bay 7, Ronto's Roasters, and the Milk Stand. And even for Oga's Cantina, that would be nice to have a revolving menu. Obviously keep the drinks that are the most popular, but have the other ones just constantly be changing. It's kind of amazing the potential growth that this land has. I mean, they could add so much to it. Out of all the possibilities though, a roller coaster and a speakeasy would just be amazing. Those are at the top of my list. Maybe one day soon, you never know. Oh yeah. So much potential with Galaxy's Edge. Cannot wait to see what they do in the future and maybe some of my wish list items will come to flourishing here at Disneyland and maybe even at Walt Disney World. But you know what? I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post a new one. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. Be sure to follow that because I post stuff there that I don't normally post here on YouTube. So if you're not already following me there, follow the link down below. What is your wish list for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for the future? What new attractions would you like to see? Would you like to see a new roller coaster, a new simulator ride, new food and beverage offerings, uh, maybe a walkthrough attraction like I was talking about earlier? Yeah, go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to spark up some conversation because again, there's so much room for development for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. There's so much to play with because the Star Wars universe can be endless. And you know, obviously that's another thing. If they maybe take away the timetable for Galaxy's Edge, that would definitely free up some more space. But yeah, go ahead and comment down below. Love to talk about it. I can't wait to come back to the park, obviously to do my regular update videos, and of course just have a bunch of fun. But until then, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.